Hey, so as a lot of people have been commenting or whispering me in game about how they'd really appreciate a slowed down version of the candy energy rotation, I thought the best way to explain some of the, well, the most important parts of the rotation would be to commentate myself as the rotation proceeds. So I'm going to try to point out some of the major things in the rotation and explain as well some of my thought processes for kit timings or other stuff like that. So in general, like the goal is you want to get your very high damage skills off cooldown as soon as they're up. And this can be broken down basically to incendiary ammo, firebomb, blowtorch, napalm, shrapnel grenade, grenade barrage. Uh, the rest of the rotation will basically fill in the gaps with other high damage skills. But the way I do it is so that you'll try to prioritize the really important ones that we've already mentioned. The key to having like really good DPS on NG is mainly just to get these important cooldowns used and avoid swapping kits for like one low damage skill, since obviously if you swap kits you're going to have downtime and it's not really worth unless you have say one really important skill to cast or multiple skills. So at the very beginning you can see a pre-cast firebomb and big bomb and while pressing incendiary ammo as well. And then I quickly swap to mortar kit to trigger the gunk from streamlined kits. Since I'm on Mortar anyway, I just do a quickly Poison Shell, and then I instantly swap back to Flame Tower, cast Napalm. Uh, in the opening rotation, I don't use Air Blast, because there's other high cooldown skills you want to use. Uh, after Flame Tower, I swap instantly to Pistols and chain Blowtorch to Pistols 3 and 2. The really important thing to notice here is to use like Pistol 3 and 2 as soon as you use Blowtorch, since some people will try only swap for Blowtorch itself, but it's not worth. Um, while casting Pistol 2 then, I can switch back to grenades and use Shrapnel and rotate through other grenade skills that are up. So at this point you'll notice every skill has been used at least once in the rotation, so now we need to figure out how to loop it somehow. The cooldowns obviously aren't going to be all the same as our opening burst, so some things are going to be different. So after some grenade autos, I know that Firebomb will be ready. You can chain this with your Concussion Bomb and then swap back to grenades. You can use Shrapnel Grenade and then one or two auto attacks. Pistols will be ready again, so you can swap, use Blowtorch, chain Pistol 2 and 3, and then back to grenades. So after some grenade autos, you'll know that Fire Bomb will be ready again, and this also coincides with Big O Bomb cooldown. So a way to track this is you can cast Fire Bomb when you see Big O Bomb at around 2 to 3 seconds cooldown and then chain those two together. Uh, when I'm done with Firebomb the second time, I go back to grenades and wait for Streamlined kits to come up soon. I know it's going to be up soon since I can track it to Grenade Barrage and this basically works every time when your Grenade Barrage is ready or slightly after it's you've used it, your Streamlined kits will be ready again so you'll know you'll be ready to swap to Mortar Kit. Uh, once I proc the gunk again, I go back to pistols and chain 432 once again. After that, you can rotate back to grenades and work through the skills. Your napalm will be ready again after this, since you can see the incendiary ammo cooldown is going to be around 12 to 14 seconds. Next time will be around 25 seconds. This is obviously after you've used ammo a second time. And then after that again, it will be on 35 seconds, and that's obviously after using it the third time. This time I use Air Blast because you've used like most of your other high cooldowns, so it's fine just to use it quickly. Uh, after this, you can move back to grenades again, and then you can use Freeze or Shrapnel or whatever grenades you have ready. Since you've used two Shrapnel grenades, you'll know that Firebomb will be ready, so you can swap to that, use it. And since you've just finished a grenade and bomb rotation, you'll know that your pistol skills must be really close to being off cooldown. One thing to say, if you're like unsure whether they're ready, then you're better off auto-attacking once or twice, since if you swap and they're not ready, and you're stuck waiting on cooldowns, that's a way bigger loss. After pistol skills, we reach a repeat, because we're going back to grenades, and we see the big ol' bomb is almost ready again, and fire bomb is also ready. This is like before when I mentioned when big ol' bomb is around 2-3 seconds, fire bomb will be ready. You can also chain these with a uh, poison shell for mortar every time. After this, you can see grenade barrage is almost ready again. So as I said before, streamlined kits will also be ready quite soon. 
after you drop the gunk from the mortar you'll know the pistols will be up again and you can chain blowtorch and your other two skills nade and bomb cooldowns will be ready again as you've just done pistols so you can use a grenade and then use bomb skills you can see then that incendiary ammo will be around 24 seconds so you'll know it's time to go flamethrower napalm and air blast again after another shrapnel grenade and maybe a few grenade auto attacks just to be sure you can rotate back to pistols chain your skills again so here you can actually start to see a loop forming because we're back to grenades and we have big old bomb plus fire bomb cooldowns coinciding for the third time so as before grenade barrage and gunk will also be ready and after that after a couple of grenade auto attacks you will also know that pistols are ready again so once you're rotating back to nades and bombs you use those skills you'll notice incendiary ammo is quite close to 35 seconds cooldown which is your third napalm it's really important that we can manage its cooldown to make sure that we can cast it off cooldown or as close as we can get at least so flamethrower napalm air blast again and we can actually see like there's a nice pattern developing even though ng isn't really one of the classes that has like a real step-by-step -step rotation it the rotation does kind of form if you make a priority of skills and then work in other fillers around it you will get a rotation that repeats and once you're able to track cooldowns in your head the rotation will you will see like a real pattern forming so basically overall you're going to be rotating from incendiary ammo to your bomb kit to flamethrower napalm then pistol skills, then back to grenades, then you can use bomb kit again with big ol' bomb, back to grenades, pistol skills, grenades again, then flamethrower should be ready, and this will basically repeat then. So hopefully this helped some people who wanted a more uh, explanatory guide of how the rotation works. Hope you enjoyed.